Well, uh, Pleasure P leaves the group. And you guys are, I guess, trying to figure out who the new lead singer is going to be. And then in 2008, right around, you know, right around that time, Static Major, who you guys had had all the success with, ends up dying at age 33. Yeah. Yeah, Static died at 33. That was deep. I'm in the studio. Steve Noah called me. I remember that shit like yesterday. Steve Noah called me. He like, yo, did you hear? He like, nigga, Static dead. What a burst out of tears, man. That's my nigga. What you mean, Static dead, man? And, um, yeah, that shit changed shit, dog. You know? As a nigga, nigga, man. Yeah, and I guess, was it right around that time where he did Lollipop for Lil Wayne? Yeah, that was right around the time. Give me a second, yo. Yeah, that was, um... Yeah, he had just did Lollipop. He did Lollipop. I think he did that with Pleasure, too. I think Pleasure Hill write that shit. They got a Grammy for that record. And, um... Yeah, man. Static, static. It was his time, you know what I'm saying? They had, look, that was Lil Wayne's biggest record. That I, I feel like, I mean, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I think that was the turning point in Wayne's career where everything went crazy after that, you know? I, I remember, like, watching interviews with Wayne used to be tripping, like, man, why y'all ain't playing my record in New York? Shit like that. And when he did that Lollipop record, it was, it was a big crossover record. And, um... Yeah, yeah, static, man. He ain't make it out the hospital, dog. He, niggas, sometimes niggas go in, they don't make it out. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got to I gotta count my blessings, dog. Like, nigga, I done been in the hospital a couple times this year, man. Like, nigga, I'm still living. That's a blessing. Yeah, I guess he had some sort of medical procedure, and he ended up passing away because of that procedure somehow? Something went wrong or? Yeah, I think they put a tube or something down his throat or something and that shit hit some shit. And you know, he ended up dying from that. I ain't really exactly sure we, it's such a touchy subject, we don't even talk about that. Like all the family and friends, because it came out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? So we kind of really don't really talk about it too much. Yeah, man, listen, I'm sorry for your loss. I never got to meet him myself, but you know, like that lollipop record, like you said, that put Lil Wayne in a whole different category. Like Static, you know, Static Major was about to be in a whole different category right along with that. Even though he had a lot of success with you guys and, and other productions, I mean, that record was just, was on a totally different, you know, stratosphere. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's a shame he didn't get to experience it himself, man. I'm sorry. And I think it switched Wayne into, into that R&B, that male R&B stuff that he started doing with Drake, with the I wish I could fuck every girl in the world and the Bobby Valentino um uh, like a cop car. We you know what I'm saying? It took him there, which which then made it where you can have the Drake and the Nikki. It made sense for cash money. But before that it kinda didn't. They were such a hardcore group, you know? Yep. Yep. Okay. So you guys are working on your third album. You guys get a new lead singer. And then, you know, like you mentioned, Atlantic let you off, and then you guys signed it with uh, Big Cat Records? Nah, Big Cat kind of kind of brokered a deal with Tommy Boy for like a one-off record. And shit, we just trying to keep working. You know what I'm saying? It still wasn't, it wasn't no distribution channels yet where you can massively distribute your records and get um, on all the platforms. That didn't exist yet. So we end up doing this one-off with Tommy Boy, um, who, you know, they used to have, um, what's the group? You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. What's them? Uh, Naughty by Nature. Naughty by Nature. I think they had Naughty by Nature signed. And um, so, you know, we, we, we gave it a shot. We went and seen what they could do. You know what I'm saying? They was talking the right money or whatever. But yeah, Big Cat, who had Gucci Man, he kind of middle, he middle man that deal for us. You know what I'm saying? 